Continue with question number three. We are going to simplify this expression. And the key is that we have to use all the rule of exponents. And we have to make sure that our answer can only have positive exponents. So let's begin. So first part, as you can see, we have a to the negative 2 in the parentheses raised to the negative 3 power. This is the power to the power situation. In fact, it's the same for the rest as well. If this is the case, what we are going to do is we are going to be multiplying the exponents together. So for the first part, we are going to get a, so the base stays the same, and we have negative 2 times negative 3, that will be positive 6. Then, for the second part, we have a to the one third and then raised to the negative 9. We have to do one third times negative 9, that will be negative 3. So the second part is a to the negative 3. Over the denominator, we will get 2 times 4, which is 8. We have a to the 8th power. Alright, next, notice that this part, a to the 6 times a to the negative 3. When we are multiplying two things that they have the same base, we're just going to add the exponents. So 6 plus negative 3 will be positive 3. So that's going to be a to the third power on the top. Over the denominator, we haven't done anything with it, so let's write it down. a to the 8 on the denominator. Then, when we're dividing, we are just going to subtract the exponents, 3 minus 8. The top exponents minus the bottom exponents, 3 minus 8 will give you negative 5. So we are going to get a to the negative 5. So, you see, we use all the rule of exponents. Finally, a to the negative 5, we want our answer to be positive exponents only. We are going to fix this. We can do that by changing this to 1 over a to the positive 5. Whenever you see a negative exponent, we can just change that to a positive exponent, but you need to make sure that you bring down to the denominator, 1 over a to the positive 5. So this is pretty much it, but I would like to write down the things that we just did. Let's recap. How did we get a 6? The 6 it was because negative 2 times negative 3. So negative 2 times negative 3, that gives us the positive 6. That's the power to the power rule. And how did we get the negative 3? It was because 1 third times negative 9. So 1 third times negative 9, we put in parentheses, 1 third times negative 9, we get negative 3. How about the 8? It was because 2 times 4. So for the 8 right here, it was because 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And for the next step, how did we get a to the third power? It was because here we had a to the sixth power times a to the negative three power. We are going to add the exponents. So for the three right here, it was because six plus negative three. And six plus negative three will give us, uh, that will give us positive three. And the eight stays the same for now. Then. How did we get negative 5? Here, it was because we took the exponents on the top, subtract the exponents on the bottom. 3 minus 8, that gave us the negative 5. Oops, 3 minus 8, that gave us the negative 5. And finally, whenever you see negative exponents like this, we are going to change it by writing this as 1 over a to the positive exponent, which is positive exponent 5. That's it. So all the rule of exponents within these questions. Very cool, huh?